Hello, this is Miss McAllister with the second video in the Go Math series. Today I would like to explore the interactive student edition that is located in the My Library section and also show you what is available for you in the My Scores section. First, let's log on to Think Central. If you did not get these areas filled out and clicked the Remind Members Remember My School button right here. Go ahead and pause the video and fill these out and then click the My Remember or Remember My School section. We're just going to log on as our student and we're going to use the password capital A capital A B C one two three period. If we click on the My Library section, we will see the Interactive Student Edition icon right here. The Interactive Student Edition icon, also referred to as the ISE, is a great resource for your student to review the concepts being taught in class or prepare for a quiz or test. All the resources in the My La Library are available to you at any time. If the, if the teacher has not made an assignment, it will not, the results will not be sent to your teacher. So your student can practice at any time using any of the resources available in the My Library. We're going to talk about the Interactive Student Edition today here. When we click in, we can go to the chapter and the lesson that our students are working on. Um, when I open this up, there will be a video that will start. I'll pause it. In the Interactive a Student Edition, there are five dots down here at the bottom that represent each level of the lesson. It will start with a video explaining the concept in the green dot, then ex ex examples are given in the blue dot, guided practice in the purple dot, independent practice with the orange dot, and finally homework in the red dot. Again, this is a great resource available to you and your student at any time. One thing that I would like to show you is in the homework section. Now try your homework. So I'm going to go to the click on the red dot and then the red whistle. If you notice your student, this will be a question that your student might see. And over here on the right, I have resources that I can use to help me with this question. If your student is struggling with the question, they can view an example and it walks the students through the question. Then your student can try another one very similar to the other question using what they just reviewed over in the view example. Also your student can check their answers before moving to the correct answer or moving to the next question sorry right here and check your answer so this ensures that they're not practicing the concept incorrectly. Next I want to look at the my scores section of your students think central right here. If you click on the my scores you can see the lesson that your student has completed, the date that they completed it, their score and their percent. If you see a percent or a score that you would like to investigate or look into further you can click on that lesson and then click on the lesson and you can see if your student answered the question correctly, partially correct, or incorrect. So here's a question that was answered incorrectly. So I'm going to go and click on this blue arrow and view the question. So in this window I can see what the correct response is and if I scroll down I can see what the what answer was submitted and then we can have a conversation as to why this one wasn't correct and this one was.